And this Sunday morning with the blockbuster cabinet nominations and appointments announced this week. President-elect Trump nominating former Florida Congressman Matt Gates to be U.S. Attorney General. Iraq and Afghanistan veteran and Fox News host Pete Hegseth to be Defense Secretary. And Robert F. Kennedy Jr. to be Health and Human Services Secretary. All of this following earlier announcements, including South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem for Homeland Security Secretary, Florida Senator Marco Rubio for Secretary of State, and veteran and former Hawaii Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard for Director of National Intelligence. President Trump's nominations were met with fierce hostility and backlash from Democrats and the mainstream media and support from Republicans. Look, Matt Gates is a brilliant legal mind. Matt Gates will, uh, he will be the uh, left-winging socialist's worst enemy when he, I think he will get confirmed. Matt can handle himself. He has nothing to hide. It's one thing to pick people who are uh, loyal to the president. It's another to pick people who are so patently unqualified and uh, who would just uh, trash the Justice Department and use it for purely parts and purposes. All of this, despite President Biden's Attorney General Merrick Garland's reportedly weaponized DOJ, FBI, CIA, and Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, who has overseen the flow of more than 10 million people illegally entering the country. Now we turn to the road ahead and whether President Trump will get his nominees confirmed. Joining me now are two people who will be among those to decide. Missouri Senator Eric Schmidt and Alabama Senator Tommy Tuberville. Gentlemen, good to see you both. Thank you so much for joining us. Good to be with you, Maria. Uh, Eric Schmidt, let me start with you. Uh, are you expecting President Trump's nominees to pass uh, through the confirmation hearings and get confirmed? I do. I think if you take a step back and look at what happened in this election, uh, President Trump delivered the greatest political comeback in American history. The Democrats tried to keep him off the ballot. Uh, they tried to bankrupt him. They tried to throw him in jail for the rest of his life. He survived all of including assassination attempts. He survived all of that and emerged winning all the battleground states, including the popular vote. How did he do it? He created a multi-ethnic working class coalition, really the disruptors versus the establishment. I think that's important to note as we roll into these confirmation hearings. He is willing to take on permanent Washington in a way that no president has, certainly in my lifetime. We have a once in a lifetime opportunity to deliver that change, to take on permanent Washington, return the power back to the people. But you can't just do it with the Article One branch. You have to have people you trust to go into these agencies and have a real reform agenda. And that's why I think there's real momentum Real momentum to get these these uh, nominations confirmed to actually deliver what President Trump promised on the campaign trail. Are you planning to vote yes on all of his nominations?